So we are jumping straight into Colorado Anime Fest. My introduction that I did there, the audio on it was corrupted. So I'm gonna do that real quick here. And then we're gonna jump right into the Colorado Anime Fest 2022 on Saturday. This video is all about etiquette in cosplay photography or event and con photography in general. One thing that you need to remember when you're photographing at these events is a, it is a private event. It's not like doing street photography where it is public. You don't have a right to privacy in public. This is a private event. So the rules are a little bit different. There are some common etiquettes and the big one is always ask permission to take someone's photo. Cosplay does not mean consent. You need to ask their permission to take a photo, and if they say no, you need to respect that decision and move on. One of the other things that you need to remember is if they're sitting down and resting, if they're eating, if they're chit-chatting, don't approach them to ask if you can take their photograph. That's rude, just a little bit of common courtesy. Let's jump in. So we did our first panel, it was a lot of fun. We're now gonna wander the hallways and you're gonna see exactly what I mean by asking consent of cosplayers. If the cosplayer says no, you're actually not gonna see it in the video because I'm going to delete it from the video footage because they asked me not to show them. If they say yes, that's the part you are gonna see. It's very important that you ask consent and that you make sure it is okay to take someone's photo. This is considered a private event. It's not like street photography where you have no right to privacy. This is a private event. You do have to ask permission. You're totally playing peekaboo with the GoPro. <laughs> One more thing I need to add. If they're sitting down and A, look like they're relaxing and taking a break, or B, eating, don't even approach them. May I take your guys' photo? May I take your photo? Was that a yes? Okay, thank you. I literally get May I get your photos? Yeah, of course. Ooh. Ooh. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. I got it. Thank you. May I take your photos? Yeah. Another important part of that etiquette that we didn't really discuss in the vlogging while I was there. I was really excited about being at the Colorado Anime Fest in 2022. They they put together a really, really great festival. The other thing is, is you want to show your photos. I know a lot of photographers have a hard time with this, but these cosplayers put a lot of work and effort into their cosplays. And to show them the photo to make sure that you captured exactly the look that they want to have, the pose that they want to have, because this is just as much for them as it is for you. And they want to know, they want to be able to show their artistic skill and how much work they put into these cosplays. Many of these cosplays were handmade, so you definitely want to show them the photo after you take it and thank them for allowing you to take their photo. Thank you. 
May I take your photo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I will always take a photo of the doctor. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Can I take a photo of your, your, actually, I could do a whole group. Would that be okay? Yeah. Perfect. Thank you guys so much. Can I get your guys' photo? Yes, absolutely. Yay! Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. You guys have a great one. Can I get a photo of your group? Oh, no, it's a, I can get your two photos out all right? Perfect. Thank you so very much. Yeah, of course, thank you. Thank you. Can I get your guys' photo? Yeah. All right. So at this point in time in the con, they began playing some copyright music over the intercoms. Now I did keep it up asking everyone for permission, thanking them when they allowed me to take their photo. During the entire time, I only had about two people say that they didn't wanna have their photo taken, and that is totally okay. They are well within their rights to say no, so you have to remember that consent is everything at these conventions. So the rest of this video is going to be sped up showing you all of the photos that I got. I got about 50 photos in total during my day there on Saturday. A lot of people were chit-chatting or they were eating and I didn't want to interrupt them. I didn't want to come off as rude. So I only took photos of people who looked like they were wanting to have their photo taken or they were wandering the hallways much like I was. If you see yourself in any of these photos, please comment the timestamp down below. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. At the end of this week, we are going to do a video on the type of gear that that you should bring to a convention for photography so that you don't weigh yourself down. You can get the best photos possible in those cramped positions. And we're gonna go over the gear that I personally brought and what I'm going to bring that's different at the next convention I go to. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. Thank you so much. Excuse me. May I get a photo?
thank you so much. Have a great one. You too. I'm doing another check-in, you guys. Um, so far, we've watched Initial D. Uh, we did a panel. Uh, we watched some anime music videos, which were fantastic and fun. So far, it's a really great experience. Not that many people don't want their photos taken. It might be because it is post-pandemic and everyone's just excited to be out getting their photos taken, making their cosplays. So far, Colorado Anime Fest has been a blast. I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. All right, you guys. Yeah, exactly. All right, you guys. Holly and I are headed out of the Colorado Anime Fest. Holly's been the best con buddy I could ask for because she directed me in all the right directions. Because I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, we are gonna cut back to my studio. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about con etiquette. We're gonna talk a little bit more about consent and uh, how to just go about it. And we're gonna talk a lot about this little lens right here because this little lens right here turned out to probably be the best lens for this kind of situation of photography. And I'm sure you guys saw it in the POV that I've shared with you so far. So I'll catch you all on the flip side. Bye.